Hello guys, welcome back to Roll Camera Reality. My name is Pia and today we're gonna be talking about yes again from the title different ways to use our foundation. So let's just jump in a video without further ado. But yes, wait, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please go and subscribe first. And please press the like button if you like my video a tiny bit. So let's not wait and jump into the video. First thing we're gonna talk about how to make a foundation lighter or you can say less coverage so what you can do is you can grab a foundation take a foundation what i'm gonna do is i'm just simply gonna take any cream from my vanity box and just gonna add it with my foundation and mix it and that's how you can get a lighter coverage okay i started applying it it will give you a coverage like you can say a BB cream and CC cream, probably a little teensy bit more than that. So there will not be much difference, but yes, it will cover all your dark circles. It will give a little shine to your skin. I have applied it on half of my face. After applying it with the cream, it gives a very sheen coverage. It's a full coverage foundation I have used. I have used this long lasting finish which is from Rimmel London but and it's a full coverage foundation but if you can see it doesn't look like at all it's a full coverage foundation because I've applied it with a cream. It's like everybody thinks, you know, it's called cheating when you want to say, oh, I haven't applied any foundation on. Come on, it's bare skin. So that's what it is. So the next thing I'm going to talk about, you want to apply a foundation and you want to look glamorous and you want to show that you have applied a fancy, different, very nice foundation which gives amazing glow to your skin. So what you can do in that case is you take a foundation, you add any illuminating cream in it. I'm going to take illuminating cream like this much you know it's like not the half of like tiny of this illuminating cream plus mix it with the foundation and just mix it very well and then start applying it on your skin quickly all right so when you want to show that you have applied a foundation on and it gives you a amazing glow to your skin so this is what you can do you can use any illuminating cream whatever you have and you can just mix it with your cream and then apply it and if you can see it gives a coverage but the glow it gives next way to change a coverage of a foundation what you can do is you can use a concealer which is an orange shade for your dark circles here or for any any uh, darkness on your skin the way around you what you can do is you can not use a orange corrector but you can use a lighter concealer for your skin after using a foundation i'm gonna apply orange shade on my this side Like I have a discoloration on my skin. I generally prefer to use orange corrector before applying any foundation. So this is my step to go to with. But if you have a nicer skin than mine, then please go ahead and use the other step. Instead of using an orange corrector, you can totally go for lighter concealer and just put it after using a foundation but yeah if you have a discoloration i would really really recommend to do this step if you can see dark circles are already too light now i'm going to just apply a foundation on this side this is it now i'm straight away gonna apply a foundation on this side okay this side my dark circles are more than this side so that's clearly visible you know okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take lighter concealer gonna apply it to your eyes and wherever we have a darkness start blending thing is the, my this side and this side is focused but in this side just so uh, flat but here it hide my dark circle plus just gave a brightness to my skin what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the step now here where we apply the orange corrector if it makes any more effects on
all right guys so i have applied this this side also so what effect i felt is if i apply straight away foundation and then apply a light, lighter concealer for my skin that also works but yes if you apply a orange corrector before applying a foundation and then apply a brighter concealer for your darkness this definitely makes an effect i can totally see that this side still my dark circles are little visible but this side is like total glowy and there is there is no darkness on this side so i think if you have a dark circles or if you have a darkness on your face you should definitely apply a red corrector before applying any foundation because it's on paper that it definitely makes an effect so the next way you use a foundation is you can use a primer what you can do is you can take a normal primer whatever you have it's like either it's a creamy one or the liquidy one or any primer you have you can use it on your skin but at the other end what you can do is you can take any illuminating primer for your skin uh, which gives you a glow for your skin and then apply a foundation on let's just quickly see how this makes an effect so i'm taking this silicone primer on my right side i'm gonna apply this this illuminating primer for my left side so i'm gonna take this and just close my pores you know on this side, I'm going to take my illuminating primer and if you can see, I applied a silicone primer this side. So it's it became a very numb and it's like you can say dull if, you, if I compare with this because this side is glowing like anything. We are quickly going to take a foundation and apply it on both sides. so if you can see the difference i guess it's totally showing because it's glowing and this is too uh, too matte because i applied silicon primer on this side so it's like total matte but this side i applied illuminating uh, primer so this is definitely makes an effect guys you really want to make your foundation glow then you have to buy a primer which has a uh, illuminating effect in it just giving a glow already so you just need a little highlight to just make it um, beautiful so finally the last step of this video is brush and beauty blender so we're gonna see is how effect it makes if we use a brush or if we use a beauty blender i always 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 use a beauty blenders in my videos because only believe in this i don't know how come i was applying a foundation when these were not existing but i use a beauty blender so i'm gonna take foundation apply it all over so let's just quickly check this is the brush i bought from sheen so i wanted to see the review of this but i couldn't because as i told you i don't use brushes for my foundation so I was not sure if I am ready to use it in my video. Since we are here in this video, it was necessary. Finally, you've been used, my boy. I'm gonna take my beauty blender. I'm just gonna pat it quickly. As much as I wanna say beauty blender makes a huge difference, I'm not gonna say that, yeah, because it's not making a huge difference. It making a slight difference is just that, that it gives a glow with your skin because I dump it into the water. So it, it just gives, you know, it gives a glow to your skin when you apply it with a beauty blender. And when you apply it with the brush, just try brushes. See, this is little slightly, if, if I don't know if you can see the difference in the camera or not, but what I can make out uh, by looking at myself, this side is slightly glowing and a little observed but this side is little tacky but less glowing so this is the only difference i could make out but right guys so let's end the video by saying that uh, we could check so many differences and some of you might have come up with new ideas by seeing this video or some of you might have learned how things may an effect by changing them so this is it for today i'm just finger crossed that you will like my video and if you like please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get every update whenever i upload a video till then take care bye bye